Yo, Adam Saxon here with Guy in a Cube. And in this video, we are gonna revisit how to get the embed token for Power BI Embedded. Stay tuned. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. I did a video a while back where I looked at how you could get your embed token specifically to use with the Power BI Embedded Playground. That video showed you how you can do it from calling the actual REST APIs manually. In fact, that's the only way you can do it. And the way that I showed you is using the Power BI SDK for .NET, and I actually wrote a simple console application for you to actually use and get those tokens that you need. The setup for that was really painful because you had to go set up the app registration in Azure AD, it was cumbersome, you had to know how the code stuff worked, it was a pain. And so what I wanna show you is a better, cleaner way to do this, including a sample. So let's dig into my laptop. Okay, so we are at the Power BI Embedded Playground, and what we're going after here is we're gonna go into the sample report, and you'll notice here that to actually run the sample, we need an embed token, we need the embed URL, and we need the report ID. So the way we're gonna do it this time, we still have to call REST APIs to get the embed token, and the REST API that we need to call is the generate token in group for reports. This is specifically for the reports you can see on the side that there's different ones for dashboards and also for tiles. And so depending on what you wanna go after, those would be the ones that you call. But we're gonna focus on the reports. And so if we look, we can see that we need the group ID and we need the report key. And that report key is just the report ID. And then if we scroll down, we can see that there is a JSON body and this gives you a couple of different examples that you can go after. And so I'm gonna focus on this one where it is view and allow save as, except I'm gonna leave out the allow save as. And then let's also look at how we can actually call uh, if we're using real level security inside of our given report. So now the magic of this is gonna come from the Power BI PowerShell commandlets. That's right. So we're gonna use PowerShell. There is a special function inside of there that allows you to call the REST APIs. The benefit of this is that you don't have to do all that wiring up of the app registration. You don't need to know any of that. You also don't need to know C sharp or any coding mechanism. This will just do it all for you. So it removes a lot of the overhead. It makes it a lot simpler. So let's go look at the PowerShell command itself. So the, the command is invoke dash power BI rest method. And so we're gonna have to figure out what that URL is. And then the method is gonna be post. We figured that out over on the rest API call. So if we go back up, it actually tells you the method. So in this case, it is a post as opposed to a get. And then the other thing we're gonna have to do is use the body parameter and pass in that JSON body itself. All right, good deal. So let's come up here. And in the actual PowerShell script sample that I've got, this is gonna point out the different documentations that you can do. So the actual playground, the PowerShell documentation and the REST API documentation. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have to log into Power BI. So let's go ahead and do that. Now it's important for the embed token that you have to log in with an admin of the workspace that you're trying to go after. All right, so now I am logged in. So the first thing we're gonna do is go after this regular report. So I've got my URL set up. So I've got my group and I've got my report ID inside of there. The access level, the JSON body is just gonna be that. I've got it out as a single line string. And then we're just gonna call it, we're gonna convert the response to a JSON object and we're gonna get the token, which is that embed token. Then we can just copy and paste that into the playground itself. So let's go and run this. And there we go. There is our embed token. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. We'll go over to the playground. And I'm just gonna replace the embed token that's there. So now we need the embed URL and we need the report ID. So let's go back to our script and we know our group ID is here. That's all it needs for that embed URL. So let's go figure that out. 
So we're gonna replace our report, the group ID in the report embed URL, and then we need the report ID. Let's go back and get that. Now, if we run this, it should pull up my specific report. And bam, there it is. So I used PowerShell to call that REST API to get that embed token to then use it in my Power BI embed sample. So this is a really clean way that you can go ahead and test out functionality of your report without having to run code to get that embed token if you're wanting to do some testing uh, from an embedding perspective. Okay, so let's look at a report that actually has row level security as part of it. So let's go back to our PowerShell script. We're gonna come down. I've got another URL here, which is for a different workspace and a different report ID. And this has a larger JSON body. So what this is actually doing, I'm gonna view it, and then it's passing in the user that I want to impersonate and the role that I'm gonna apply for that user. So that's the role that I added inside of Power BI Desktop, and then the data set that's associated with this. So let's go ahead, we'll minimize this. Let's go ahead and clear out my results. And then let's go ahead and we will run this to get that embed token. There we go. All right, so now let's go ahead and copy this embed token. Go back to our playground, paste that in, and now we need to do the same thing. All right, so we're gonna grab our group ID We'll go back and get our report ID. And then when we run this, we should get a different report that actually has role level security enabled for it. All right, so we've got this report up. We can see it's only United States, which is good because we said we wanted to be in the United States role. So let's go down. I've got another page here where it'll actually show me my user and it's the user that I passed in for that embed token. All right, what do you think? Is this a cleaner option for you for getting that embed token without all that overhead of the app registration and all the code that you would have to write? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you want that PowerShell sample, check out the link for it down in the description below. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome and we'll see you in the next video.